In this video, I'll show you how to make a four-sided prism with a rocket coming out the top. It's just as easy as it sounds. First you make a four-sided prism, and then you replace the equivalent of these with a rocket. Here we go. We start as we usually do, the three-sided prism. And then we'll go to a four-sided prism by adding a strut. Now that we have a four-sided prism, we'll clean up our cords a little bit because we're going to be adding some to each junction. So we'll make sure that these come in like so. That's good. And this one comes here, here, here. Good. Those look good. This one should be over there. So we'll move it. Good, good, good. Okay. So, so far, we have the bottom. And now, to get the rocket, we'll remove these and we'll add a vertical that has two cords going to and from every one of these. So with this as an example, cord starts at the bottom, comes up, and another one starts here and goes to the top. And these two holes that they enter are in line. For the lengths of these, so so far over here, we've been using 150 millimeter cords. For the rocket, we're gonna use two hundreds on the top and one hundreds on the bottom, so that's 200s here and 100 here. And that's because uh, if, we, if we made these any longer, then the bottom of the rocket would drop down and this cord would start to touch this tube and it would get messy. So we've shortened these cords to push the rocket up that way. So we'll set up our rocket, we'll put, we'll just preload it so that while we're doing surgery on this prism, we don't need to do any setup. Everything is all ready for us. Stay in there, little guy. So we're going to drop it in here. And we're going to connect these two over here, and these two over here, and so on, all the way around. Uh, as we do it, it won't be too much of a mess, but it'll be a little bit of a mess. Uh, and we'll choose the holes we want to use. 
we'll use this hole for the one that comes up from the bottom and this hole for the one that goes up to the top. So the first thing, hmm, that will be kind of a mess, won't it? Well, let's see. Let's try an alternative method. Let's try to just add this in and then remove those. So the thing we'll do without removing these is we'll take the bottom uh, cords of our rocket and we'll attach them here to, to this hole. And then we'll rotate around, pick up one that escaped, and we'll attach it here. They're escaping because gravity is working against us. Put it in there, and then we'll attach this one here. And one more. Put this one over here. Okay, so now we have our four-sided prism with this suspended in the middle of this face. Now if we remove these struts, these struts, if we remove these tendons, then it shouldn't fall apart. It'll become a little looser, but it won't fall to the ground. And now with those out of the way, we've cleared up a hole to attach the top. So if we look at the cord that's coming over from this strut, go up and select the top uh, cord from the same side. And I'll do it so you can see what I'm doing in the camera. And then we'll go to the opposite side. And we'll connect that one across here. And that'll give us some balance, and then we'll do the other two. Mm. And it looks like I've done it backwards. Uh, you can notice that these are wrapped around the tube. These are these are opposite spirals. I wanted to have two, one going each way. Um, but this one wraps around the tube. So what we'll do is we'll just swap these. We'll take this one out here. Let it relax for a minute. Move this one, come with another guy. Move this one over there. And then we'll reattach this one. And now you can see that this cord has a free run, top to bottom. And we'll do the same thing over here. See if we can do it without the whole thing falling apart. I don't know. So what I'm, what I'm doing differently this time is I'm just holding, holding this one in my hand, keeping a little tension on it. As this one is moved around, plug that one back in. There we go. So it's a four-sided prism with a rocket. And we've got two that are symmetrical.